Hey, it's Jason here with the DVE store. I'm here in Whitefish, Montana. I'm here with Jake. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're here in a brand new city hall. In fact, it's so new, it's still under construction. Uh, so construction's a little delayed. Uh, it's actually kind of dusty in here. We've got a lot of expensive equipment to set up, but uh, it's going to be a cool setup because uh, we've got four uh, PTZ Optics cameras and a, uh, a vMix um, switching system that we're going to install. Um, so I'm going to take you through this whole process. It's going to be pretty cool. So hang on. So this is the back of our vMix PC here. Internal to this we have a, um, an AJA a Corvid 88. So we have eight uh, ins and outs that can be mapped either way to bring video in or send video out. Um, and to pack them all into one slot. <laughs> Um, they have these little mini dins, and we have uh, these little adapter cables that go from this to the uh, full-size BNC. Okay. And I really like the fact that they're labeled one through eight, which makes it really handy. So here's the cable. You can you can see um, how it works here. It just literally plugs right on. See, it's it locks in and. Uh, and just connect your BNC SDI cable right there. And then to pull it off, you have to grab the little collar and pop it. Photobomb. So our vMix PC has just been gently laid into the rack here. And it's going to get screwed down. We've got uh, our dual monitors that we're working on putting in here um, for our vMix system. I'm going to go side by side on this uh, workbench here. Then we'll have our keyboard and mouse and control surface here. We've got the uh, XKE-124 T-Bar control surface from X-Keys. This is what we're going to be working with. The really nice thing about this is it's fully programmable. So uh, I'm going to be popping some of these keys out that we're not going to use and uh, putting blank covers in there. Um, but uh, it's going to work well for this system. These PTZ Optics cameras. This is one of the 20X units. We've got our two mounts uh, put up here. Let's see. Here and over here. So we got our wiring ready to go there, CAT6 and RG6. So CAT6 for control and RG6 for video. So now we just need to get our camera prepped. We've got these uh, bottom plates that need to be mounted directly to the bottom of the camera.
So we're going to mount this camera right here on the ceiling. I'll show you how it's done. Now we need to put a screw in here and then one here and one here. So as you can see, this thing is rock solid now go anywhere. Uh, while hanging these cameras, it's a good time to use the system select dial. Make sure you dial in the uh, size and frame rate that you want. I'm going to go to 6 here, which will give us 1080p. 30. So here I am in the back of the rack. We can see our, our VMIX system here. And we've got our four uh, PTZ cameras plugged in uh, to the AJA Corvid card. And this one is going to be an output. Um, and actually we need an HDMI output in order to go into this uh, HDMI matrix up here. Um, and so we're going to use this um, decimator so that we can feed the exact H HDMI signal that uh, this thing will want to see. And uh, one little wrinkle is that this rack actually does not have um, rear rails. It just has a flange with no holes. So I'm going to use a couple of uh, sheet metal screws. And I'm going to mount it right there anyway. And that should do the trick for us. And when that's done, I need to get my control surface and keyboard and monitors and all that plugged in over here. And then we can power up and make sure that we have camera signals and then we work on getting our network control configured. We've been working on getting these four PTZ Optics cameras connected so that we have network control. Um, we have our RG6 uh, SDI cables all connected as well. Um, I was having trouble getting uh, network access to this particular camera and then I came in here and realized that the two ends, the RJ45 connectors were pinned out differently. So that's why the communication wasn't happening, wasn't, the signal wasn't making it all the way through. So uh, I'm gonna re-terminate uh, this cable so that we have proper network connection. Just be aware that uh, when you have multiple uh, cameras, these default to a, to a static IP address and it's the same default for every camera. So if you plug in all of your cameras simultaneously, um, they're, those, um, they're, they're all gonna compete for that IP address and you're gonna have problems. So just uh, plug in one camera at a time and set up one camera at a time, change it to the IP address that you want it to be. So here's the network switch that I'm using. Uh, just a little net gear. Pro safe uh, to create a little control network for the PTZ Optics cameras. And I've got my CAT6 cable uh, labeled uh, camera D. That's the one I just re terminated the other end on. And uh, so, and I've got my three other camera connections here. But again, I'm just doing one. A camera connection at a time because they all have the same default IP address so I need to change them uh, one by one so we're gonna see if I uh, 
can actually see this one now. I've got the default IP address. Yes. Okay, so we're connected. Now I'm going to open up the uh, IP address setting utility that uh, PTZ Optics offers. So we're going to go up here and we're just going to hit search. And you can see that all four of my cameras show up, each with their own IP address. And uh, that's exactly what you want. Now I can go into vMix and uh, have full control over all of them, be able to set presets. We're here inside of vMix, and I'm going to go down here and click Add Input. And we get a input selection box which pops up and uh, I'm going to click on camera and so you click on camera and then you see all your options and they're all the Corvid 88 inputs and the cool thing is is any of these will also work as an output but uh, it's pretty cool how you can just swap them so we're going to go uh, input one, um, that's all correct, we're going to hit OK down here, and then boom, our camera shows up. It's nice to see all four cameras coming in. That's excellent. Now we can go in and see if our PTZ control is uh, operational. So we can go into input one here. Just click on the uh, gear icon for input one. Come over here to PTZ on the left. Device type, PTZ optics. Visca UDP and then of course we need to type in our IP address for that particular camera camera one so that um, it knows where to find it on the network okay now we should be able to connect to that and boom now we're able to Control the camera. We're up near the ceiling, so that's where we're getting a nice shot of the uh, chandeliers. But once we zoom a bit, we can get past those, not have to to deal with that. We can slow the speed down a little bit so that we're not moving around so much, so quickly. Anyway. So this could be a shot of, you know, a section of the uh, city council bench. So the cool thing is here is that uh, we can create an input at this position. So this just makes a, a preset, becomes input five. And then we can create another input. I think for now we'll just, uh, We'll get a zoomed in shot of the ladder and we'll say create input at this position. It becomes input six. And we'll go ahead and close out of this. So now if we click on uh, input five here, you can see we'll go back to that position and then input six hit that position it's like boom boom <laughs> so I've got the X keys uh, control surface here configured um, at least I've got the buttons installed I don't have it programmed yet but essentially um, our cameras are going to be A, B, C, and D, and I'll just put some labels down here 
this will be the A row of presets, the B camera row of presets, C and D. So we'll have 12 preset buttons available for each camera. I don't think we'll use that many, but they'll be there. And uh, so what each of these buttons will do is uh, go directly to that preset when you hit it in the preview window. And then you'll hit take um, to go live with that particular shot. Now if you just want to cut directly to wherever one of those cameras is currently, then you can just hit A, B, C, or D. It's going to be a world of difference from a one camera shoot. <laughs> I'm going to have options, I'm going to have overlays, I'm going to have um, camera moves pre-built and I will be able to adjust those and save them on the fly. Mm -hmm.